Hello everybody, welcome back to Expedition Homestead. Well, we have had one extremely busy weekend as my wife and I had our son. Finally, after nine months of waiting, he was just about 40 weeks on the dot when we had him. Everything went extremely well. Uh, we feel so blessed right, right now. But our son was not the only introduction to the family this weekend. Earlier this week, as I'm sure you can hear them behind me, we also got these little guys. We've got chicks. There is five lovely little gals in here. We got three buff Orpingtons, one olive agar, and then two prairie bluebell eggers. So we've got a variety of different eggs that these will be laying. I will be coming up with some how-to videos on how to take care of them and how to make sure that they're as healthy as possible. Obviously, all of our usual content, um, the instructional and educational videos, and also entertaining videos that we're going to be coming out with these chicks. So I'm extremely excited for this. But I wanted to let you guys know that you have the opportunity right now to name one of them. Uh, this little girl right here, she is the Olive Egger. And you guys should comment down below on what you think she should be named. So the reason why we're having you guys all name one of them is because well, there's five people in our family, so we're going to name five of them. And then we got one left over. So I figure that would be the greatest thing for you guys to be able to take part in the community uh, by naming this little girl. Hi. Oh, what's that? They are all doing so well. Uh, right now they're just on chick feed. We've got the water with electrolytes. And then just this week, we started giving them our mealworms. So I've been growing these down in the basement because we have a larger bluegill in an aquarium that we feed these to. And these chicks absolutely love them as well, if they can find them there. But once you start giving them treats, then you're going to want to get uh, chick grit. So we've got chick grit in there for them. This is going to help the digestion when they're eating anything else besides a plain chick starter. But um, yeah, um, they are doing so great. We've got a steady, constant 95 degrees over there. Excuse the mess, chicks poop so much if you guys don't know that. So I am about to clean this out a little bit later today and then we're gonna get some uh, puppy pads. It was really funny because we got these chicks when we were actually at the in-laws house preparing to have our baby so <laughs> the chicks were over at their house temporarily and now we just moved them over to here yesterday as we all came home from the hospital. And um, it, it was quite an interesting time, but now I'm so glad that they're able to have their full on large enclosure with their little hiding spot over there. They love that so much. And um, it, this gives them lots of space. They'll have plenty of space to okay, roam in here. Good. Say chicken. Yeah. They have plenty of space to roam in here until they are um, large enough and have their feathers in to go outside. We're also going to start seeing temperatures of around 70 degrees, so that's a lot better for them. So we figure they'll probably be going outside in a few weeks, uh, maybe, maybe about a month until they're outside full time. But for now, they're in here just having a good old time. Let's get some more of those mealworms for them. The olive eggers and the prairie bluebell eggers do seem a lot more aggressive when it comes to feeding than these guys, these little girls, right? Yeah, the buff Orphingtons, they're kind of known as like the Labrador of chickens, so they are a little bit more timid, but they seem to be holding their own against the other ones, and um, we haven't really had any trouble at all. 
with them picking on one another. Go get some food. They've all gotten along really well. We're coming up on a week with them pretty soon here, so uh, very, very glad that they're, you know, making their home and are happy with it, healthy, we have no issues. So being that there's only six of them to take care of, it's not gonna be too hard, but obviously if you have a couple of hundred uh, little chicks, you're gonna have a lot harder of time. Even if you have a few dozen compared to six, that really makes it a lot more difficult to observe them and make sure that they're all healthy. So when you have a smaller batch like we do, a uh, small in-town batch, then it's yeah, they're gonna be pretty easy to take care of, but stay tuned for videos on that because we're gonna have lots of them coming out pretty soon here. I hope you guys are excited for the chicks. Again, um, here's the one that you're naming. Right here, this olive agar. At least I think that's the olive agar because we've got two of them that are darker, which were the prairie bluebells, and then this lighter colored one. Hello. So, what's her name going to be? Leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys don't mind that I've just been filming on the iPhone lately. It is super convenient, especially when we're in such a busy period of our lives with the newborn in the house right now. Obviously, when I'm set up outside and stuff, I will be using the camera and the microphone and all that good stuff to get the highest quality videos out for you as possible. But uh, for now, for stuff like this, I think the iPhone does just fine. I hope you are all extremely excited for the chicks and uh, watching them grow and learning how to take care of them. If you guys have never taken care of chicks and chickens before, I think we'll be able to show you uh, just how easy it can be to take care of them. And even if you're in a smaller town or city, it is fairly easy to um, apply to take care of chickens. And if your city doesn't allow you to have chickens, I definitely recommend trying to get that passed because they can be a great uh, addition to the backyard, great for your health to be consuming those eggs as well. And they're just a lot of fun for the entire family. So with that being said, happy gardening, and we'll see you all in the next episode.